You're gonna get a little chip here action. Mm. See, that's how you beat that chip, bro. Cam, is that an instinctive yeah. move, or are you just thinking? Is it, are, it, before that ball snapped, oh, I know are exactly you thinking what I you're doing the arm oh, yeah. over here? You know, it all depends on the offensive tackle's arm level, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so you talk about uh, you're lined up on tight end, and I know exactly what he's doing. He's trying to widen me out yeah. to give to yeah. give the tackle space. Right. Um, so you press the issue. You're like, I need to figure out whether he's trying to chip me or not and how long he's staying. So I, I'm going directly at the, uh, the tackle. Well, give him that good if you back that up, though, because like right, this right, right. move here, you actually go airborne here <laughs> on this. Boy, what an outside swim move by Jordan. Right here, watch this. Right outside. And Falk doesn't feel him coming. And mm -mm. Havenstein just turns and he does the old, look out, quarterback! You've got you to sort of, you know, you got to bait him in. So you have you have your tight end here. Yeah. And then of course, you know, your tackle is gonna feel more confident that he's got some space that he's gotta cover. So you you, you push the uh, power on him, and of course you give him that uh the good old finesse. That looked like a like a Euro step. It's almost a Euro step, you know, it's a it's almost like the Yannick and Gakwe, yeah. you know, yeah. cross chop. Boy, and what a great pass rush move once again by Yannick and Gakwe. It's his chop swim. This is just all hand work in one, two. And you talk about uh, tight end came in, so yep. I thought it was going to be chip pro. Chip. So you're going to go directly at the tackle. Um, of course, you know, you realize it's not, so then you have to bail. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's all about hand-eye coordination and, and swim work. So how much do you work, Cam, just on the hand movement? Oh, that's all right. I mean, you, you see me in the middle of the street yeah. working hands. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be passing by people like, yeah, got him, <laughs> got him, rotate. <laughs> and your get off compared to everyone else is, yeah. it, it's, yeah. You know, Matt Wright does a phenomenal job of stepping up, but uh, so this I've got late, an answer for that too. This late spin right here, mm -hmm. when do you, do you feel like you, you know, can't get deeper right here. Exactly, you, you automatically feel where the quarterback yeah. is. Once you once you commit to turning, uh, you, you realize you can't get to where you need to be. Um, and it's just that simple, you know, it's either a drop step or a spin that's gonna get you to where you need to go. Prescott, flag is down, ball is out. <laughs> so you throw the rip, and he's got you by the throat. All right, but you just kept pushing. You've got him exactly where you want him to be. So you're ripping through the tackle, um, and you see that there's a possibility. My guy had no chance. Um, sack, fumble, fumble recovery. So, Next. all right, here we go. You get that left hand in there. Oh, yeah. Right inside that shoulder pad right there. Just a, enough inside to be able to jerk it. Right. And look, the good old bull and pull, as yeah, you know, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Witt does a phenomenal job. He's a he's an awesome veteran, uh, seasoned, has seen every pass move, rush yeah. move eight times over, um, but he's still, you know, uh, a taller guy, so yeah. it's easy leverage on him. Here's Cam Jordan, and he's working against left tackle Matt Khalil, and it's one-on-one, -on -one and he gets Khalil turned. He's got a straight shot, and that was a time when Newton was loaded up. He's getting ready to take a shot up the sideline. You got to go to a two to one. You got to go speed to power on this guy. Yep. Um, you get back over here. So it's, it's definitely that two, the bull, extend. And once he extended, you see that, you know, he gave up a whole side. I appreciate all of it. <laughs> so back this up here, Cam, because it looks like your steps here are real choppy mm -hmm. it, as you convert to power. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know right now, like when do you know you're gonna, when do you know as you're up taking off that you're gonna convert this here? Uh, shoot, I knew, knew it early on. You see how he sets? Yeah. He sets and he sits. And as you know, when you sit as a, as a lineman, I have either inside or outside. Right. It just happened to be John Stew that was inside. Okay. I had, I had both ways. I could have came inside, but at the same time against Cam Newton, that's not the smartest idea for him to be able to roll out. The finish on it is interesting to me because I always feel like you don't think you can take another step to tackle. You're just going to launch your body. Right. And just try to. Also, as a defensive end, you know you're playing off the arms, the quarterback's arm release. Yeah. And as he, you know, as he goes back to release the ball, I was like, oh, I, I can't wrap up because he might have released it. Okay. But at the same time, I got to take my shot. Yeah. He has ball ready to ready to release. And after this smack, I appreciate him just tucking him back in. I wish he would have fumbled. Yeah. How he held on that ball is remarkable. Yeah. I wish he would have fumbled. 
So yeah. you spin across the guard here, Cam. Oh yeah, this is the, you know, you got a text game. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So you got tackle, yeah, exactly. in. tackle in stunt. Yeah. Um, of course. He's just trying to pull that. Anyamata is just trying to pull that guard. Exactly, just take all his attention. You. I'm like, don't even worry about pinning the tackle. Yeah. I've yeah. got the tackle. Um, I would like, just worry about your guy. Take your guy inside and I'll do the rest. Is that a Dennis Allen call? Is that something you guys can do on your own? <laughs> That's a D-line coach call. That's okay. a D-line coach call, or especially with me and David. Yeah. If it's between me and Ranks, it's really like whatever on the field. Okay. We're a lot more. You have free. that freedom. Yeah, exactly. Well, um, so yeah, you got this tackle. Uh, you got a nice little, you got a little, nice little stunt. You got a corner coming off the uh, the edge. So we're moving inside. You get a little chip help here for the guard. Of course, you know I actually appreciate that because that corrects my body. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> You know the way I the way I see it is I'm trying to you know put the quickest move on him. Yep. You got a little chip from a little running back, of course. Like it's always it's always a short guy's dream to hit a bigger person. Um, he tries to lay into me, and I appreciate it. Again, it corrects my body. It allows me to rip through instead of the arm over I initially tried. They sort of got stalled out actually. Uh, the rip through pushes me in, and Kirk Cousin is is overly confused. Here's Ranko to pick your guy. Ryan is going to be hit and dropped, and it's Cam Jordan. Started upfield, came back inside, and puts Matt Ryan down. And honestly, I'm not sure if I called it or Ranks called it, because I mean, when you have respect for each other so yeah. much, it's like, bro, if he's he like, bro, I don't like it, call this. I'm like, great. You know, you take off on a guy like this and. Yeah, take uh, Matt down. He's mm -hmm. He knows to get down. You. Cameron Jordan plays the run very well, plays the pass very well, having a terrific all pro type season. First and 10 for the Eagles. Clement in motion to the left. They're going to run the reverse around to the right side to Golden Tate. He's going to be wrapped up in the backfield. Big play there. Loss of eight on the run. Cam Jordan's not going to be fooled. And, you know, you see the fake right here. Yep. You see a, a, a tight end leading as a, a, as a blocker. Well, in the backfield, it's first way, Yeah, just way too much telltale. Okay. So it just it already has got your radar up. No doubt. Just, just the formation alone. And then, of course, he's really not trying to block. Yes. Yeah, so what's up? Something's yeah. up. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, at Golden Tate now, he's got some, you know, some juice to him now. I mean, oh, he's, all types. All types. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he prides himself on making yards after contact. Sure. On smaller guys. But I'm no DB. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, the double team kind of trying to combo block you here. Right. You and feel that, it. You split it. You gotta take you know you gotta you gotta create as much havoc as you can in the backfield when you, when you get a stretch like that and you realize that you're already sort of in a bad position to hold the edge yeah um, you've got to create as much as much penetration as you can try and reset the running backs the mentality of but trying you're, to you're the setting edge. the edge here oh for Good. sure um, I just simply say because you know you're starting to head up on a, on a tight end oh, yeah. who's bailing sideways right um, and then of course you know so so once you get where you where you want to be you're four or five yards in the backfield it's just up to you to make that play. 